Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today, we're going to be uh, looking at a Lenovo ThinkPad E14 Gen 3. Now, I know, and I apologize that this is a bit hard to see. Um, I don't have my standard tripod handy uh, because I'm visiting my parents in the States, uh, so just bear with me. But basically, what we're going to do today is we're going to essentially upgrade the RAM and put another solid-state drive in here. So basically, uh, you can get this in a variety of uh, different configurations. This is the AMD Ryzen 5, um, but it only has 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it's only got a 256 gigabyte uh, solid state drive on the inside. Now, obviously, you can pay more to have 16 gigabytes or whatever, um, but I chose not to do that because it was sort of expensive to do those upgrades direct from Lenovo. And I said to myself, you know what, I can uh, probably just upgrade that stuff myself, save myself a little bit of cash. So that's what we're going to do. We're, we have an 8 gigabyte RAM module. That's DDR4. Obviously, it's a SODIMM because it's a uh, laptop. And uh, we're going to be installing that to bump up the RAM from 8 on the inside of this device to 16 total. And then we're also going to be taking this uh, M.2 drive, which is a 1 terabyte micron drive, and installing that as well. So we're going to leave the 256 in there, but it's got a separate slot somewhere around here for another solid state drive, which is what we're going to do. And we're going to just use that one for storage. So what we need to do is uh, there are a bunch of screws. There's one here, one here, and one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So it's about uh, seven screws total. And we're going to remove those screws. And then we're basically going to pry this back panel off. Now, from what I understand, and from what I've seen sort of, uh, you know, read on Reddit and forums and whatnot, is that there are sort of latches that keep this back panel down. So even when you take the screws out, it wants to stay together. Um, so you just have to take a little bit of time to pry that off. So that's what we're going to do. Well, I'm going to grab a screwdriver. We're going to undo these screws and we're going to try to peel this back panel off and um, yeah, hopefully it will be all right. Okay, so once you remove the seven screws on the back panel, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find uh, the little seam, which is right here. I know it's really, really hard to see, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to basically pry this corner up. Now I could get my fingernail in there. I don't have very long fingernails, but I could get it in there and manage to pry it up. And then what you want to do is you want to carefully work your way around just peeling that back housing off of, or the back plate off of this sort of like housing here. You got to be really, really careful because there are sort of uh, plastic latches on the inside here that will catch. So what I recommend is getting yourself like a little plastic shim uh, and then using that to sort of pry it open and just carefully work your way around the entire unit. And then the back plate should just peel right off and then we'll be able to do our upgrade. Okay, so now we have the back panel of the ThinkPad E14 Gen 3 off. Now, like I said, you have to be really, really careful because there are sort of like clips that hold the back plate in place. Um, just carefully work your way around, find a corner that kind of you can peel up with your fingernail or something like that, get a bit of plastic um, and just work your way around and eventually the back plate will come off. I will say though that it is um, tedious. It does take a little while, um, you know, it, it does feel like you need to force it a little bit, but trust me, if you just keep uh, working at it, going around, it will eventually come off. So basically what we're looking at here is right here is the solid state drive where the operating system is stored. Like I said, mine's a 256. But right over here is where we can install our uh, M.2 uh, 2280 uh, drive. So that's basically just gonna slot in right there. And I'll do that in a second. But uh, what I wanna show you first is under this sort of aluminum heat shield here, we can pry this up because this is where the RAM is. So what we're gonna do is um, we're going to essentially pull this off. And once I do, I'll show you and we'll install our new RAM module. Okay, so as I mentioned before, you basically take this heat shield off. You can, it's it's not screwed down or anything like that. It's just basically held down by uh, these little pins here. You can just you know, if you can get your fingernail underneath there, it should pop right off. Otherwise, like I said, you can use a little bit of plastic to essentially pry that up. But as you can see, there's eight gigabytes uh, soldered onto the motherboard, but we do have an empty slot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab uh, eight gigabytes of uh, DDR4. 
uh, RAM. This is 3200 uh, megahertz, which is exactly the same as what's going on there. So again, you know, Ryzen's, they benefit from more RAM. And um, it's obviously best to have them sort of in dual channel mode. So hopefully this will give us a nice little performance boost. Now I have Crucial here. I bought this off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. I think it was only about 35 US bucks or something like that. If I can get it open, I can show you how to install this thing. It's not terribly difficult, but basically we just take this guy out, if I can get him out. <laughs> and that's our little RAM module. And what we're going to do is we're just going to flip it around. So obviously uh, it's asymmetric, the pins here, so um, you can't put it in, you know, one way or the other. It only goes in a particular way. And basically we're just going to slot it in right there, make sure it's seated properly push down and these two clips will snap in place and that means that your RAM is now seated properly. So what we've done is we've taken an 8 gigabyte to a 16 gigabyte and that should really help with performance. Anyway, let's move over to the solid state drive installation next. Okay, so as I mentioned before, as you can see, I've popped that heat shield back on. But as I said before, this is where our M.2 drive is going to be. So again, this particular laptop, it's the E14 Gen 3, comes with 256 gigabytes uh, pre-installed. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to expand that storage space by popping in one of these guys. And that's just an M.2 drive. And like I said, this one's a one terabyte. It's a micron uh, and yeah, it will give us a decent amount of space. So if you've never installed one of these before, basically they kind of look like a stick of gum or something like that, but you need to essentially undo this screw here, which is what we're going to do right now. So we're going to pop that out, pop that off to the side. Don't lose that because we definitely need that screw, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we are just going to slot him in right here. So press in firmly. It should seat okay. And then that screw that we unscrewed before, we're gonna pop it right back because that's what's gonna hold this drive in place. Make sure it doesn't move around. And if I can screw it in. <laughs> and there you go. So it's seated properly. It's not going anywhere. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that back panel back on and then fire this guy up and we can format our drive and we're gonna double check and make sure that, you know, it's reading the 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM as opposed to eight. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so I fired up my laptop, it turned on, so that's a good sign. And um, I know it's a little hard to see, but basically you can see here in the about section of with the Windows settings is that obviously it's recognizing that I have an AMD Ryzen 5 5500U with the Radeon graphics. And we now have 16 gigabytes of RAM. It says 4.8 of that is usable, but that's pretty typical. Um, so obviously it is recognizing that RAM module and uh, we're good to go. Now, what we're gonna do next is just check and see if it's recognizing that other um, one terabyte drive. And so, as I said before, uh, my C drive, that's where the Windows installation is. And basically uh, we have, if I hit properties here, we're looking at a 237, so again, like a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Um, I've used about 70 gigs. I've got 166 left over. Now, that one terabyte drive that I put in was actually from another laptop. So it also had another uh, build of Windows on there, which I'm going to wipe out and just totally clear off. Um, but for right now, as you can see, it's showing as the D drive, the other solid state drive that we just installed. And as you can see here, it's a one terabyte. So we're looking at 931 gigabytes. So again, everything has uh, gone smoothly. All you need to do is just take your time peeling that back panel off and uh, you should be good to go. You can upgrade your RAM and you can pop in more storage. Uh, to put uh, the back panel back on, just, you know, again, set it on and then just snap it closed. Uh, and then put those screws back in and you should be ready to roll. Anyway, hopefully this is uh, going to help you guys uh, with your own upgrades on your uh, ThinkPad E14 Gen 3. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.